All right, welcome back to K24 this morning. Uh, we've just uh, back from a break where we were talking about how to turn your side hustle into your main hustle. And I have uh, Mr. Wedaka from St. Tonomi, the CEO, talking about that particular issue. Carol as well, uh, who is an interior designer, formerly a banker. And of course, Mr. Omeo here, who is a financial literacy advocate. And before we took the break, you actually said something very important in terms of... Uh, you know, the kinds of times that you should give to what, um, you know, business. And we had a gentleman who called earlier on and said, he said that you give 20%, 40% as you transition. You do it progressively. You just don't wake up one day. But you, you have a different opinion. There are businesses that will not even need you as much. There are businesses that require only your spirit. You know, the vision, mm. you own the vision, and mm. you, it drives through the products and delivery. Mm -hmm. That is... If you are a good person at hiring good people who can create the platform that can deliver what you envision, that business can be a side hustle and you're employed. You will never have trouble with your employer. Right. Now, there are businesses that require you because by design, you, 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 developed, you, you are a person who has to be inside that business until you are able to replace yourself, which is pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. The transient question you're asking, those kind of businesses... If, if you have to do them as a side hustle, yeah. you should be very ready to have a, a lot of trouble mm. with your employer okay. if your employer is, is designing. Yeah. Carol, I don't know, for you when you are still in banking, what, where did you get time to go and take people's uh, measurements as far <laughs> as their seats are concerned? Um, in banking, I was in relationship management, so that uh -huh. means I was bu business development. All right. So half the time, you're never in the bank. Ah. So yours, you're, it, you're, sales, it's, you're a salesperson. Okay. So you're always up and about. And I think for me, when it came to leave, it's because you're thinking that's the issue of time. Because mm. let me tell you, most of the time, I was not in the office. Yeah. And, and you are again, taking people's measurements. And again, <laughs> but again, also another thing about being very good in like sales or business development, when you're balancing the two, you have to be able to be, make sure that your target's on point. Because now you also don't want trouble with your employer. With your employer. Right. So, um, interesting enough, um, like when I did my second employment in the microfinance, because I was already a season banker from a big bank, mm -hmm. it was easy for me, as in th those targets were, I was doing them while I was asleep. Mm. So you make sure you've, uh, okay, the mantra was, in the first two weeks of the month, yeah. make sure you've done Achieve your, everything. you've achieved your targets, then now you have your time. Mm -hmm. And then if you're a good, uh, you're a good performer, as in your dashboard looks good, your boss is not on your back. Mm. So you make sure that you've managed your boss. Mm -hmm. Then now you can, you can do... <laughs> These are the secrets you, you of can side do, hustling. Yes, eh? uh -huh. you, can do, you can do your stuff. Then, as Patrick has said, there's that thing of you, you're either in it, as in it's you, the person, or you've gotten um, people to do it for you. Mm -hmm. But in the society that we live in now, there is the one minute fame or one minute success. You will hire people who just want to take advantage of you, they'll take your stuff. Mm -hmm. um, they won't do as per what you've promised to deliver. Right. So you end up even losing business because of that. So it takes time to grow the business, to get to know who you're working with, mm -hmm. to trust them, for you to be able to deliver without your presence right. in that situation. Okay. Yeah. Um, Waidaka, Kunavile, yeah. sometimes when you're in the business, uh, and I think uh, actually Patrick has mentioned this while we were off air, mm. about employing family members, close friends, you know, this Ule Jamao Kwa Mta, Anakwangatua Mechil Paleng, yeah. Only for you to realize um, <coughs> they don't have the same vision as you. Yeah. Uh, the other issue is you might employ, because I mean, you're working. You know, you're working for that bank or you're working for that company. Yeah. So you're there 24 7. Yeah. So you're trusting that cousin of yours or that nephew or that niece yeah. to run your side hustle. How good or dangerous or bad or profitable is that? Look, trust is earned. Mm. So don't just give trust to anybody. Doesn't matter whether it's even your. Your closest relative, it mm. is and Even your wife. Let me, uh, hey, 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 you want me to say things on air? I should not say such things on air, sweetheart, I love you. But <laughs> trust is huh. and mm -hmm. And let me, not even, let me not even tell a story. Let Patrick tell that story. Because it was, it was mm -hmm. the perfect example. Patrick, Go ahead. at 29, you lost mm. 2.2 million. Yes. I work with my wife even today. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, I want to say this. We hire people for what they can do, not mm -hmm. for who they are. Mm -hmm. That, that's the most important thing. The point, the, the other point is that when you start at the point of starting, it is normal to get to people you, you are more familiar with. 
it is normal. So it's normal to start wrong. Mm. I'm basically saying that uh, it is very normal to find your cousin, brother, uh, being, being the nearest person. Of course, you don't still understand business. Yes. But when you come to understand business, you will soon realize that you need the right person, not a brother, not a wife, mm. not two. Mm. If the wife can deliver, that's okay. Mm. If your brother can deliver, that's okay. But I'll tell you this. A lot of side hustles, and especially we men, mm -hmm. uh, we start with the spouse or her sister, the wife's sister. Because that of one of us. Um, that's uh -huh. not an issue here. Uh -huh. The issue is we are discussing business. <laughs> business yes. doesn't know blood. Yes. And, and it must be separated from blood only to the extent that blood and skills have come together. Mm -hmm. Th that I would say. Mm. I have personally lost money. And I lost it when I was very young. Yes. Yes. I, I, I actually cleared my entire savings into a business. 2.2 went flat. And Up in flames. And, I, um, and you're here, you're very I, safe. I was still earning <laughs> approximately 800k a month. There was no problem then. Uh, you feel... I want you your feel problems, the by the way. And you come, <laughs> and you come, back, you come, back, to, uh, you come back to reality and uh -huh. you have zero savings. Yeah. So it, 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 is, it is one of those things that you don't want people to go through. Mm. Yet, by design of the way they approach things, they must always start it that way. Here, here is my, my, my prescription. Mm -hmm. if, if you're still thinking about a side hustle, number one, develop the idea very clearly. And find who would be the right person, character, to, to, to place in this place. Then train them, give them the skill when they are already right in terms of I can trust them, mm -hmm. I, have, I have seen what they can do, they have the, the, deli the diligence to be here, mm -hmm. there are people you can live here and don't worry that they will close right behind you. Yes. As I speak to you right now, my spouse is running a small business mm -hmm. and for the last three months she's hired like five people mm -hmm. and fired all of them. Because of in the, the last how long? The, the last six or so, less than six months. Yes. Because of the same, same things I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Someone will open the shop at 10 mm -hmm. as Instead opposed of, to eight. Okay. The other one will open the shop at nine and spend two hours going in and out. Mm -hmm. Customers are coming in, not finding. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not like the people we bring on board mm -hmm. are necessarily right for our business. Mm -hmm. So, and, and unfortunately, you can't learn this when you're very new in business. Yep. You are learning through those pains, yeah. but you must learn fast. Because capital that you put in business mm. is always very limited. I feel like you're saying that uh, we shall have to suffer, whether it's a side hustle or the main hustle. <laughs> yes, because in our economy, mm. uh, we, are, we have not primed ourselves to, to learning from the right places quickly. Mm. Today, um, St. Tony runs an, an, an entrepreneurship school. Yes. I run one. Mm -hmm. We basically will beg you to come in. Yes. Mm. Yet you lose your money, then run to me. Mm. Expect me to salvage it. It's, it's tough. Mm. <laughs> By the time you're coming to me, you have already have negative energy. Yeah. You, you're now looking at entrepreneurship as a bad thing. Uh -huh. But you approached entrepreneurship the wrong way. Okay. Just hold on. We have an Oliver on the line. Oliver, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine, sir. How are you? Uh, Miniko Salama, sana. How is the diaspora, a.k.a. Ongata Rongai? It's very nice. I'm gonna manage now. Gonna run. There's a lion All right. <laughs> roaming around. Okay. Yeah. So, what is your question or comment? Yes. Come again, Oliver. Yes. Oliver. Yes. I can hear you. What is your question or comment? Yes. So, uh, Mr. What is the name? Uh, hello. Yeah. Zima Zima TV. Iko alafu tuonge. Okay. Actually, I'm Zima. Ah, yeah. What is your question or comment? So actually, I'm very disappointed uh, to, uh, on your panelist here. Yeah? Why so? Because, mm. let me ask you, yeah? mm. those people, they're just speaking about 800,000. Uh, where do you leave those, uh, where do you leave the small, uh, the, mm. those people who are less than 20,000 a month? Okay. Yes. Uh, Oliver, do you have a, a, are you employed or do you run your own business? Okay, for me... Mm. I'm a student, also, I'm, I'm a university student, actually a four-year uh, university student, a four-year university student. Okay, awesome. And, and also I do a small uh, asshole and I earn less than 20,000. Okay. And also I put a small business there. Eh? Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Oliver. All right. Oliver Mekasirika umesema 800,000 na yeye ni mtu wa 20k. He's getting, he's getting it off the other way around. Uh -huh. A business is a business yeah. whether you are putting in 20k capital. Uh -huh. When that 20 capital, 
20k is not taken care of, it yeah. will go. Mm -hmm. It will go in a day or two. Mm. I, ha I owned a business as a campus boy. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not new with business. I began business at, at age 19. Mm. Age 19, <laughs> 20, 21, I paid my own fees yes. on campus okay. for my own hustle. Nice. So it's not a question of the size of money you have. Mm -hmm. And I work with boys on campus here in Nairobi and KU. Mm. I actually offer my hours for them. The issue here is not the amount of money. The issue here is the mentality. If, if you don't get the mentality right, you envision right, then you create the structure for things to work. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you a case of a very young lady who's selling clothes in KU. Okay. She's a student. She has already established relationships with people in Gikomba mm -hmm. who know her kind of taste. So they can pick the clothes she wants and then get someone to deliver. Mm -hmm. And she will sell them on campus because she already has people who have artists. Mm -hmm. So she's not just selling clothes to everyone. Like I said earlier, the she market. She has a niche market. Yes, that market. That market must be there. T-shirts for boys are very easy to select. Mm -hmm. But you need someone who can get them for you mm -hmm. without you being there. Because you're on campus. Yes. So 50K for such a student, buying a T-shirt for 200 and selling for 300 it's business. Yes. But that business can go down overnight. Mm -hmm. Regardless One, of whether the capital was 800,000 yes. or 20,000. Yeah. Or, 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 or even a million. Mm. The size of the capital, regardless, a business can go down in flat straight days. Mm. So the issue here is not the size of the money yeah. that you put in, in or you are, whether you are earning a 1,000 or 30,000. I earned 800 Bob on campus, and I was able to live on that money. Mm. But the question that we are asking is, do you have a model that can carry this business without interfering with what you call the main hustle. Yeah. Okay. If you are a student, mm. you are a faster student. Mm. Yeah. Then the side hustle has to support your studentship. Okay. So whatever else you do, is it after, is it during, is it, is it you can start working as early as 4 a.m., yeah. come all the way up to 8, mm -hmm. go to class, class, clear. And I know a man who is supplying milk to Java here, mm -hmm. who arrives with his milk in Java in the morning, mm -hmm. by 8 o'clock, is in a suit like me, mm. is now working. By evening, mm. he's back in a hustle mm. because his work for milk mm. doesn't interfere with his work after yeah. eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Other sure. invoicing. Right. Sure. So the process that you put in place mm -hmm. to carry the goods, to meet the needs, and to handle any complaints mm. is what we call a model. Okay. It's about customers, it's about <laughs> products, it's <laughs> about suppliers, it's uh -huh. about all those guys. All right, by that I'm getting to you because I can see you saying, preach, Mr. Yeah, Patrick, me, preach. I, I, me, I'm just saying, if you're not listening to this wisdom, Oliver, just, <laughs> the, I don't know how we can help you. That's Carol, um, mm. did you ever face burnout? Because like what Patrick has said, at least for you, Unasema, uh, most of the time was spent outside your employer's premises. So uh, you, you would meet a customer and as you're selling <laughs> that banking product, you'd upholster his mm. his whatever mm. but did you at any one point probably meet ban ba burnout where umechoka you're like ay apana ikazi ay <laughs> it's just too much yeah it's it's there mm -hmm. and and i'm telling you um you face it with the your employees now okay your your staff mm -hmm. cuz you have to as in there's a lot of managing you have to really manage them and it's quite taxing as in i think this year is where i faced burnout as in i've just been at a point where i'm like i think i need to stop mm -hmm. maybe i go back to employment <laughs> yeah because you now it's becoming too much again when you face um economic hardships and stuff you start thinking maybe that salary mm. is a good Aikwa idea Aikwa 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 uh, but the just this the, the details those details like he says you hire like five people in like six months dealing with people mm -hmm. is very hard mm -hmm. it's the biggest issue getting mm -hmm. the business is not as hard mm -hmm. as managing people Okay. That's why you, you feel the right. stress. The burnout. Yeah. So we, we have a, a Sorina from Nakuru. Good morning. Morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? Mini kosalama sana, Mr. Orina. Asante, asante. Tami ni meshukuru. What is your question or comment? Okay, my comment is uh, from Carol. Mm -hmm. Time management is the only thing we can do for, to get a, a side hustle. Yes. Kuringana na mpano ya naangalia karo vila naongea. Unajua kama mtu una ume make sure ile pali umeajiriwa umepata na fasi. You are free. You don't have to worry about this side hustle. Yes. Kwa sababu one thing, you get that auta kupata pressure from the other side. Yes. You get your side hustle is okay. 
Yeah. Now, so it has also for the Kenyans, I can advise, is a, a, a good challenge and it's a good thing that we can uh, at least try yes. to manage ourselves. All right. Now, Chiri, mm. Ramzan, I say, time management is equal to sour. Now, come on, remember, yeah, yeah, I think I'm a Luyako, Nini, Nini. Here on the first so all the customers so you have to get a good manager I'm a good person who can manage when you are not there thank you mr Orina. thank you for your, uh, your panel today thank you mr Orina. we have also a carol from Nairobi. carol good morning Hi, good morning. I'm fine, thank you, Carol. What is your question or comment? I'm uh, asking. Yes. I lost my job uh, on July this year. Okay. I have my savings, mm. but I'm not sure what kind of a business because I don't want to go for another employment. Okay. I want to start a business, but I would like to be advised. I was mm. uh, a sales lead. Mm. I used to sell um, ceramic tiles, toilets, and those stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, for Carol, years. these tiles that you used to sell, are they for your employer, Ama? Yeah, they are for my employer. Okay. And do you have any other skill set, probably a certificate, no, degree, no, diploma? No, no, no. Okay. I've been there for nine years. All right. right. Okay. So, do you have any passion? Are you a cook, for example? Yes. Do you like cooking, for example? Uh, no, no, sure. Eh, okay. Yeah. Sawa, sawa, Carol. Wacha tuone kama utajibiwa. Sawa. <laughs> All right, thank you. Eh, <laughs> Waidaka, I'll, I'll, this, because you're, you're the guys who do a lot of this uh, kind of teachings. Yeah. Carol, you had a job July. Yes. Akona savings, so yes. clearly she has some amount of money. We don't know how much. Yeah. But uh, she has no skills, but she wants to start a business. <laughs> she has uh -huh. I mean, she, she does, does, for uh, sure. She, uh -huh. I mean, she does. If you've been through any, pr you are a human being for sure. God has put some skills and abilities that are new. You know, also you've been through school, mm -hmm. so there's you have been prepared. There are systems that are in place. Uh, definitely, I mean, when we talk about starting a business, definitely looking about in areas where you're passionate. And passionate is not just something that you know that you're saying. Ah, I've known this for the whole my whole life. Mm -hmm. I want to be an interior designer. No. Yeah. Sometimes it is a problem that you see in society, something that you see that is not being done well. Like mm. if you find yourself always organizing people's houses, desks yes. in the office, you know that you have a mindset for organization. If, right. if those things that trouble you might be an area to find. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Sometimes it may, you might not even find any of these. And you, all you need to do is simply start. Just decide. What is the opportunity? Can it be an M-Pesa shop? Can it be a kiosk? Mm -hmm. Can it be a, a, maybe even become an Uber driver? See, those are three, three businesses. Just do inky, pinky, ponky. Pick okay. one and start. Mm. And very quickly you'll find, hey, this is not for me. Or, you know what? I yeah. think I can do this. Okay. I think we give ourselves excuses mm. many times and say, oh, I don't have a passion. I'm, I don't have this. Mm. That's, that's an excuse. Okay. I think pick something and we, start. Before I let you say something, Patrick, we have a Joseph on the line as well. Joseph, good morning. Morning. About the Anarok. Traffic, All right. What is your question or comment? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go on. Narok, because I'm Kabisa. Eh? Uko na swali gani ama ni comment? Eh? Uko na swali gani? Uliwa na Uliza aje. Uliza. Oh, muna taya na kasi ama muna fanya aje. Tuna tuna saidi awa tu kufikire vinyo anaza nzisha biashara. Yes. Okay. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, Joseph. Uh, Kutoka na rock. Uh, I think maybe we should start giving out jobs. Uh, yeah. I was support you on what the, the young lady asked. Yes. The one who left please, work please do. Her job in July. Mm -hmm. Now, business ideation is a process. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can be blank like she is. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with being blank. Mm. But there are questions that if you are walked through to ask and begin to pro pro provide some responses, right. we are able to, be to begin to see the inklings, the possible directions mm -hmm. uh, that 
you can combine with her present skills. She did say, I already sell ceramics. Mm -hmm. So the very first part of business is solved, being able to approach a customer. So the question now is, who will be your customer? Mm -hmm. For what? She's been approaching ceramic customers. Mm -hmm. Now that is the first part of the business. Below. That's the first part of business, yes. being able to engage someone else called a customer. The, the, the next thing is then who will be this customer that you may serve. Right. We'll come mm. down to several questions because every product that comes to the market answers four areas. Mm -hmm. So those four areas, we have to ask questions around those four areas. And by as you respond to them, you are able to begin to see where you are. Mm. It, it is not like everybody pops up and they have a, a, a perfect business idea. No right. way. Mm. No, no way. Mm. I, I, Ideas are improved on the ground. Okay. Like you said, when you have started. Right. Yeah. I wanted to just make something very clear. Mm -hmm. Please, I don't want this to be missed. Mm. Most of the time, when you start a side hustle, and, that, <coughs> and that's what we've seen in our classes consistently, mm -hmm. people eat profit. Mm. When the business makes a bit of money, that's mm. what you eat. Yes. When you're an entrepreneur and you are, it is now your side hustle, I assure you, you do not eat profit. And the, this is what is killing most businesses. Because people don't understand, how do I, as the entrepreneur, mm -hmm. make money from my business? I do not eat profit if I am in the business. And that is the key. Yes. If you do not understand how you make money from your business, you are in trouble. Wow. Because if you're eating profit, there is no business that, that does that. Yes. Profit is to be reinvested or to be distributed to, uh, to directors as dividend at the end of the year. You cannot survive day to day on profit. On profit. But uh, you see, as a side hustle, <coughs> when you make a bit of money on the side, that's what you eat. Mm. But when you get now into that business, it changes the dynamic. You are now a factor of production as, and must begin to pay yourself mm. differently from how you are paying yourself as a side hustle. Yeah. I wanted to make sure that this becomes very clear and beca because we've realized that's one of the key issues when people come into our classes. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to pay themselves. Yeah. And so they are struggling. Okay. So I didn't want us to leave this place without saying, when you get now into the business, you right. don't eat profit. If you're a factor of production, you pay yourself just like any other employee because you're actually working in it. Okay. That's a key factor when transitioning from side hustle to main hustle. Okay, yeah. so Carol, as we finish off, uh, what would you d say to your, uh, your namesake brother, who is saying, Okay, what I would say is that um, she has a skill, yeah. as you've established, there's something that she can do. Uh -huh. She just needs to start, that's yeah. this start. And then the, um, to answer, I think Oliver, who was complaining about the amounts mm -hmm. of money, there are businesses that you start with no money. Yeah. There is business you can start with zero capital. Just your hands. Just yep. your hands. Mm. And also even um, at times you're told, God, at times you put yourself in a situation where you're told, what do you have in your hands? Because mm -hmm. he uses what you have. Mm -hmm. So for Carol, is there's something in her that she can do, but okay. she needs to start. Okay. Then grow. All right. And also... Look, look out for these guys. Look out for this gentleman. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've come to the end of uh, Money and Finance Tuesdays. Uh, we actually end the discussion there. Thank you very much for tuning in. Kindly let us know if you'd like to get in touch with any of these gentlemen and women. We shall definitely put you in touch. You can find us through our social media pages. That is at K24TV across all social media networks. You can call the numbers on your screen. And better yet, you can actually text two one triple two and we shall definitely get back to you right now though joining me is shiko kaitani and jeff mote um upande wa side hustle yeah um unafanya side hustle luka pa k24 right thanks Bruby. um hello ken Gabriel. you're not on the spot not at all not at all it's just your job on the line uh, you Nothing know much. uh napiana uh kazi eh kama uh but I really like, um, you know, what she just said that um, you've got to use what's, you know, um, in your hands. Like, mm. use what's working for you and you, something will definitely pop up. Right. Mm. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I think the biggest takeout from there, uh, with every venture you'll take, 
time and money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Things you'll have to be able to sacrifice to put mm -hmm. it in there. Mm -hmm. So it's wise to think about it even as we get into the new year and so many people are like, now this is side hustle. Yeah. 2020, mm -hmm. it becomes Full the main throttle. thing. Mm -hmm. Until you realize wait, it's January. Wait, wait before you jump into that particular <laughs> space. Great discussion right there. We are done for the day. Of course, we're back tomorrow bright and early after us. The Daily Brief is up next. Samuel Jiroge, Shiksha, Aurora. Have a great uh, morning. We're back tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a great day.